Good morning everyone. Welcome back to grade 5 mathematics class. How are you all doing today? So we have learned what is an angle, how to measure an angle using a protractor, the types of angles and today we will see how we can construct an angle using a protractor. Yeah. So I hope you all have your geometry box with you. Now let's see the first question. Draw an angle of measure 50 degree. So I hope you have your protractor and ruler and a pencil with you. So let's see the steps. The first step is to draw the lower arm of the angle. So let's first draw the lower arm. Take your ruler and place it horizontally on the paper. Then take your pencil and draw a line using your ruler. You have to mark the starting point or the end point. Let it be A in this case. And another point I'm marking here, let it be B. And an arrow to represent that this is a ray. Now, now that we have drawn the lower arm of the angle, let's use the protractor to take the required measurement. So, place the protractor such a way that the baseline coincides with the lower arm and the center of the protractor coincides with the starting point of the ray. So, that is See, you have placed it properly. The baseline coincides with the lower arm and the center of the protractor coincides with the starting point or which is going to be the vertex of the angle. Now, we are asked to measure an angle measuring 50 degree. So, since the lower arm is pointed towards the right, we are going to use the inner scale in this case. So, start counting from 0 degree, the initial position. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. We can see 50 on the inner scale here and corresponding to 50 mark a point here. Now set aside the protractor, name the point, let it be C. Now the next step is to join this A and this C. So take your ruler again, place it properly and we have to draw a line joining A and C. It should pass through C. Set aside the ruler and put an arrow mark here. So now we have drawn the arm AC. So right now we have got an angle which measures 50 degree. And it is needed that you also show the measurement of this angle along with its name. So let's show the measurement. Since we took the measurement using the inner scale and the angle was increasing towards the left, you have to put the arrow like this. It, it means that the ray turned around, around the point O in the left direction. So this is angle C A B is equal to 50 degree. You can also write angle B A C is equal to 50 degree or even angle A is equal to 50 degree. Note that when you are using three points to mention the name of an angle, the vertex should be written in the middle of the name. Hope this is clear to you. Now, we have drawn this angle using the inner scale of the protractor. Now, let's see how we can draw this angle using the outer scale of the protractor. Both are correct. Now, let's see how we can use the outer scale of the protractor. To draw an angle using the outer scale, the steps are the same. But just that, the lower arm will be pointed towards the left. So, let's see how we can draw the angle. First step is to draw the lower arm of the angle. I am going to draw a line using the ruler and then mark the point, the starting point. Now let it be A and the arrow pointing towards the left and a point on the arm of the angle. So now this is ray AB which is pointed towards the left. Now we have to draw an angle measuring 50 degree using the protractor. Place the protractor on this lower arm of the angle such that the baseline coincides with the lower arm and the vertex coincides with the center of the protractor. 
So now we have placed it properly. Now since the lower arm is pointed towards the left, we are going to take the outer scale of the protractor. So start counting from the left, 0 degree, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Put a point, mark a point corresponding to the 50 degree mark. Set aside the protractor, name the point, let it be C. Now the next step is to join the points A and C. Place the ruler properly and then join the points A and C. Set aside the ruler, draw the arrow mark. Now we have drawn an angle, angle CAB or angle BAC which measures 50 degree. So since we have used the outer scale, we have to suppose that this ray has turned around an angle of 50 degree towards the right and in this case the arrow should be pointed towards the right which is which is showing the measurement so we have drawn that arrow showing the angle now we have to write the measurement angle c a b is equal to 50 degree or you can also write angle b a c is equal to 50 degree here or you can also write angle A is equal to 50 degree. So I hope you are clear with how to use a protractor to draw an angle given a measurement using both the inner scale and the outer scale. So in this case we have seen how to draw an acute angle. Next we will see how to draw an obtuse angle using the protractor. So here we have a question draw an angle of measure 120 degree. So the first step is to draw the lower arm. So take the ruler, draw a line, mark a point, let it be P, mark another point, let it be Q, draw the arrow. Now ray PQ represents the lower arm of the angle. Now place the protractor properly, the center should coincide with the point P, the starting point and the baseline coincides with the ray PQ. Now take the measurement since the arrow or the lower arm of the ray is pointed towards the right we are going to take the inner scale of the protractor. So start counting from 0 degree we have to measure 120 degrees so it's 0, 10, 20, 30 it goes on and here we have 120 degree. Put a mark corresponding to 120 degree now set aside the root, uh, protractor now let it be R. We have given a name to the point and the next step is to join the points R and P using the ruler. So let's take the ruler and place it properly along a straight line so that we can join this R and P. Now draw the line, draw a line joining R and P, set aside the ruler, draw an arrow mark like this. Now we have the arm. PR of the angle. Right now we have drawn an angle that measures 120 degree. Since we use the inner scale, the arrow showing the measurement should be pointed towards the left because we took the measurement from right to left. And write the name of the angle, angle R P Q is equal to 120 degree or you can also write angle Q P R is equal to 120 degree or you can even write angle P is equal to 120 degree. So note that the vertex is mentioned in the middle of the name that we have given here. Now that you are clear with how to draw or how to construct an angle using a protractor, let's move on to the homework. We can go through the topic construction of an angle using a protractor in page number 108 of your textbook then move on to exercise 6.3 which is in page number 109 and you have to do the question draw the following angles using a scale and a protractor so using a ruler and protractor you have to draw the angles corresponding to each measurement given here in your notebook then take a picture and send this through teams so that's all for today children we'll see in the next class with a new topic till then bye